Well, it's a first coming together of the leaders, with one exception, since uh, the attempted coup uh, ten days ago. Um, the president uh, invited uh, the leader of his own party, the prime minister, uh, the leader of the ultra-right-wing party, the MHP, which often votes uh, in the government's direction, um, and the leader of the biggest opposition party, the CHP, the Republican People's Party. Uh, and uh, the Republican People's Party had called for reconciliation among parties uh, to uh, try and bring the country together, and it held a big rally with the ruling AK Party in central Istanbul yesterday. However, the big exception from today's meeting was the third strongest party in Parliament, the pro-Kurdish HDP Party. And their leaders issued a statement criticizing the fact that they were not invited to this meeting, saying that one of the reasons for the coup was the fact that the army felt it was being uh, had the job of trying to resolve the Kurdish problem all by itself, just military means, that there was no political engagement of the Kurds going on. And similarly, the Kurdish party thought today that with this meeting in the presidential palace, once again, the Kurds were being left outside the door. There was another uh, significance uh, in that the um, main opposition leader, um, Kemal Kilic Daoğlu of the CHP, had up to now refused to go to the presidential palace because Erdogan built it down there on the Ataturk farm. This was land that Ataturk bequeathed to the nation, and the Ankara uh, Chamber of uh, Architects actually won a court case in which the court said that Erdogan should not build that palace. Erdogan replied that uh, he was going to go ahead and build it anyway. Um, so this is the first time uh, uh, Kilish Daolu has gone to that palace, and it was a political climb down that he did go there.